What's up everybody, welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and today I'm gonna show you how to print pictures on wood just like that with glass gel medium, really simple, let's check this out. So we're gonna need a piece of wood and I printed out a picture of myself, yeah I had hair back in the day with the shotgun and ammo belt, pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do is just pour it on a wood, this glass gel so what i'm gonna be using glass gel medium and then i wanna grab one of this and spread it around okay that's pretty smooth now i'm gonna grab the picture and put it this upside down right on that gel and pretty much what i'm gonna do glue it down to the wood Grab some kind of cloth or something and make sure you don't have any air pockets or bubbles and press it down like this. Now we're gonna set it off somewhere to dry. Also you don't have to do this picture in black and white. They, you can do them in color as well or your favorite YouTuber logo. Here's my favorite YouTuber logo, also my friend Night Hack in Light. His awesome DIY channel was checking out. This is his logo. I'm gonna try color logo on the printed on the wood. Let's check this out. Same method. We're gonna grab this uh, glass gel medium and just spread it around on the wood like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna grab Night Hack and Light logo and stick it like this. You don't want it to move too much because it will mess up. So hold it in one place and now you want to get rid of any air bubbles. And now let's set it dry for like six hours. Okay, now I got wet, wet sponge. I'm just gonna start taking the layer of paper off. And guess what? The paper will come off and as you can see just wood there but the ink from the paper that we print out will stay there which is really amazing. So the more you practice the better you get. I rubbed a little bit too hard so I take off a little bit too much ink right here but it's still pretty bad. Now let's start with the color. See if it's gonna work or not. Just gonna put, make it wet real quick. Yeah, my printer is kinda cheap, so the ink come off really easily. I should probably wait it longer till it dries off. But that's cool. Okay, now I'm gonna grab stain, stainer and put stainer on it so it will stay shiny and uh, the picture will not get ruined. So just like that. Of course this logo, you can cut it out as much as you want. And that like, gives it like vintage look. It doesn't look like it's a brand new logo. It looks like it's old school logo. I love this. I think it turned out really, really well. I love every single bit of it. And if you wonder what kind of wood stain I'm using, this is it. So, Alright guys, I want you to do something for me. I want you to click over here, subscribe to my buddy Nighthawk and Light. He have one of the best videos on YouTube DIY channels and science experiments. He have over 200 videos. And why every single one is so high quality, you're gonna love it. Links in description, subscribe to my buddy. Hopefully you enjoyed that experiment. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.